Gardening in containers is a great option for those with limited space. Not everyone has access to a suitable area like these to set up a traditional garden. Individuals living in an apartment, homeowners that don't have the right area, or tons of other reasons. Container garden is also great for those who want to test the waters of their new gardening hobby. In setting up a container garden at home, you'll need to consider a few things, such as what container you'll use, the growing medium, and of course, what plants you'd like to grow and harvest later. Almost any large container can be used for gardening with a little creativity. Containers can be made of many materials, including plastic, wood, terracotta or ceramic, really whatever you have on hand or can find at a good price. As long as it can hold a large amount of potting mix and has drainage holes at the bottom, most containers can make a suitable choice. If the container you want to use does not have drainage holes already, you can make your own using a handheld drill and the right drill bit. Once you've chosen your container and added drainage holes if necessary, you'll need to fill with the proper growing medium. Garden soil compacts when put into a container, which results in poor water drainage and aeration, so aka not a suitable environment for plants to grow. Potting mix is generally the best choice when it comes to container gardening. Quality potting mixes are lightweight, well-drained, and retain moisture and nutrients well. Commercial potting mixes can be easily found at your local garden center or other retailers. Next, it's time to pick your plant. Many vegetables and herbs can be successfully grown in a container. Some good ones to try are tomatoes, peppers, bushing varieties of beans or peas, and many herbs. Look for information on seed packets or plant tags on whether that variety will do well in a container. Often that information is included right on the packaging. The size of your container will dictate what you can grow. For example, tomato plants require a pretty large container. Think about the size of a five gallon bucket. Pepper plants can be grown in a smaller container, about two gallons is ideal. And leafy vegetables like kale, lettuce, chard, or many herbs can be grown in smaller containers. Again, check the information on the packet or tag and then get planting. For ongoing maintenance, containers tend to dry out faster and need more frequent watering than gardens planted in the ground. This could mean daily watering if the weather is very hot and dry. To check if your container needs to be watered, simply poke your finger into the potting mix. If it feels dry to about one inch deep, then it's time to water. Don't let your container dry out completely as the mix tends to pull away from the sides of the container. If it does, let the container soak in a tub of water for about 20 to 30 minutes. Typically high quality potting mixes contain slow release fertilizers, which should give plants adequate nutrition for the first two to three months. After this, once or twice a month, you can add a small amount of water soluble fertilizer to water to create a diluted fertilizer solution and fertilize plants that way. And there you have it. Growing a vegetable garden is possible even for those with limited space. If you're interested in learning more about all things lawn and garden, check out more information on the Iowa State University Extension and Outreach Horticulture and Home Pest News site. Thank you.